experiment with how quickly I choke, you know. So you can choke right after it, or you can wait an entire another beat to choke it. You can mix those up a little bit. Uh, anytime you choke the cymbal right afterwards, you create a little bit of tension for the listener. So if you're choking, you're choking, you're choking, uh, and then you release, it kind of is a resolution for, for them as listeners. So you can kind of play with that and be aware of that as you're doing that. At some point, it's nice to kind of release and have that contrast. Translates pretty well to what we're doing. And if I'm working on something like that, it may just turn in into an improv, you know. I just take like a simple exercise and then build it out and see what I can do with it.